Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about two topics that are uh, typically not talked about too much in C++. One of them is a namespace, the namespace and the other one is type def. And uh, they are not like major topics, but I would rather uh, uh, explain them for you. So uh, here namespace let's talk about that first namespace because you have seen me using the namespace std and i said that namespace is something that the compiler used to decide what kind of unique names variables functions to use and that's exactly the application of namespaces so let's say here i have two functions in two different uh, areas two different libraries or something one of them is called this funct display function and the other one is exactly the same name or like I have two variables and they are in two different uh, uh, again libraries or classes or objects or anything like that and they are the exact same name right so when I call them which one of them would compiler pick and uh, compile remember function overloads so we had functions with the same name right this is a similar idea that if I have two functions with the same name, but each one of them belongs to a different namespace, then compiler would know which one we are picking if I'm telling it which one of those namespaces I'm using. And if you look at these diffs functions, they are the exact same thing. Their types are the same, the input arguments, number and type which is completely nothing in the type of the output void. So they are exactly like each other. The only difference is here. One of them says this is from namespace one. One of them says this is from namespace two. That's all it is, right? So um, in order for the compiler, when I come down here and say, hey, display function for me, in order for the compiler to know which one to choose, I have to tell it that I'm using which namespace right now. Therefore, just go and choose the functions within that one. So here I define both of them. And the way you define the namespace is you use the keyword namespace. You give it a name. And then inside braces, you define whatever that you want, whatever function, whatever variable or anything, right? So it's not just limited to functions. You can have variables with the same name. So I can define a variable here, int n, right? And here, and say this n is 5, and here I say, well, int n is 3, right? And uh, here, uh, I can uh, go ahead and use those n's as well. If I want to use namespace 1, then the n that I would choose is going to be n5 and not n of what? 3. So as I said, my goal here is not variables. I just want to show you the example with functions. But um, since here I'm saying using namespace 1, this is going to be what? This is going to be chosen and this message is going to be what? Shown when I run this part of what? This part of my... Um, code line 40 so look here if you look it says what this is namespace one now if i change it and say hey use namespace number two and then give the exact same name of the function look what happens now see now it says this is namespace two so now this message is going to be shown because this function name this point is coming from there that's the namespace this is very good for resolution of uh, copy and paste names, identical names, basically. The other thing we have is type def that you might see somewhere here and there. Type def is not a major thing. It's just to provide a different name, or we call it an aliasing, uh, existing names. So, for example, instead of calling uh, basically vector right instead of calling something that is an integer vector instead of defining it this way i redefine this vector of integers and i call it we int 
So from now on, every time we want to define some new vector v, I'm not going to say vector int v. I'm not going to say that. Because I replace that vector int with what? With v int. I redefined it. I gave it an alias, a secondary name. And so now I go this way. I say v int v is a vector of 10, 20, 30, 40. So I'm not going to say this. I'm going to say that instead, right? Instead of this. So instead of this, now I say v int of v, right? You see? As simple as that and as nice as that. I just give it a, a shorter name. Sometimes the names are too long, so I use a shorter name. Sometimes the names are not super meaningful, the names of these variables, the class of these variables, so I give them some more meaningful name. Most of the time it's because they are too long and I want a shorter thing. So I get user-defined data types, alias, second names. So I define this vector from 10... 20, 30, it just has three numbers. I call it class v int. And then, of course, I say go inside this v int. This is the in range for loop, if you remember. I say for any x into this v, go ahead and show the content. Go ahead and show that x. So it's going to show me 10, 20, and 30. And this is exactly what you can see over here. Right? So. If I want to summarize, V type is to rename a data type into a different name, and namespace is for compiler to distinguish between functions or variables of the same name belonging to different what? Uh, libraries or classes and decide which one to what to choose. So hopefully the video was useful to you. I'll see you in my next lecture. Thank you.